So I've been pretty interested for the past six months or so in trying out some sort of electronics-y, maker -y kind of projects. The problem is that I have zero experience in this sort of thing, and so when I was looking at a lot of kits and projects online, a lot of them require stuff like knowledge and soldering. I don't have a soldering iron and I've never done this kind of stuff before, so I asked you guys on Twitter for some suggestions of some easy projects I could take on. And somebody on Twitter suggested that I look at SparkFun, uh, which is a website online that has some kits like this and a whole bunch of pieces and tools if you have ideas of what you want to make. And so I poked around a little bit and I found a kit that looked like it was super easy for beginners, which is exactly what I am, and thought that while I tried it out, maybe you guys would want to see how it goes. So this is the package that I received in the mail. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, but it's supposed to have everything that I need to make my project inside. So let's open it and find out. A little firefly jar. Now I know that this is not a hardcore electronics project here, uh, but it did not require any soldering, which a lot of the kits did, and it was under $20, which fits my grad student lifestyle. So the first thing is this adorable felt jar. This is what our twinkling fireflies are going to go in. Next up, we have the lily pad proto snap. So I believe that this is where all of the E in our E textile is going to come from. Um, I'm looking at this, and I see that there are uh, four little LED lights that are going to be our fireflies. There's a little on off switch and then there's a little case for a battery that looks like it already has a battery in it. Uh, so it seems like it's probably going to be a pretty simple circuit, battery, lights, on off switch. Final things in here are needles and some conductive thread. Okay, so step one is to uh, break my proto snap apart into its component pieces. But before I do that, actually, I want to turn it on and see what happens. Aww. All right, so that's pretty cute. Uh, I hope you can see that. There's some little twinkling lights. Okay, so once I got over my fear of accidentally crushing it, it actually snapped apart really easily. We want to place this guy, the little battery pack, right here. Uh, in this orientation. So I guess this side is going to be the front of our jar. So I want this guy here. Put this guy right here. The kit tells me that this is the microcontroller and it controls the twinkling of all the lights. So I'm going to start by looping uh, two or three times around this. And now I want to sew up to the top positive pin. Now I need to sew up to where the microcontroller is going to go. So we just connected all of the positive pins on our little guys here, and now we want to connect all of the negative pins. Also, for safety reasons, I think I'm going to pop this battery out right now. So next we're going to add our LEDs, uh, and these guys actually go on the opposite side. So I think, I think that what's going to happen here is this is going to be on the back and then these are going to be sort of sandwiched in the middle here. Uh, that's what would make sense to me. So let's put these guys on. So now we're going to sew all the negative ends of these LEDs together. So now all the components of our proto snap are sewn on. So we have to test it and see if it works. Okay. So here is the battery. I'm going to slide this back in. And now we turn it on. <gasps> Look at that! Oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. What happened? What did I do? Huh. We're working when it's upside down. Okay. This is troubleshooting. Maybe I have something loose? Somewhere? So now we just have to put uh, the other side of the jar and the lid on and then sew them all together. So here is the finished product uh, with both faces of the jar sewn on. 
I think that it's super cute uh, and it was very easy to put together. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. And I feel like this would be a great project if you were learning about circuits in school uh, to either do at home on your own or if you're a teacher, I feel like this would be a really fun thing to do in class. Uh, or, oh my gosh, if you were at a science summer camp, would this not be the best thing for a science summer camp? Oh, okay, yeah, so I think this is super cute, super fun, super easy. Uh, yeah, so this is my little e-textile firefly jar. So this video was made with the support of audible.com. Uh, so you can go to the link down in the doobly-doo. It's audibletrial.com slash bite-sized. And if you sign up there, you get a free ebook and a free month trial of audible.com, which if you haven't heard of it, by the way, is a really cool audiobook website. And so I personally do a lot of driving between Palo Alto and Los Angeles. That was a long time to be in the car. And if I tried to do it with just music, I would go crazy. So ebooks and podcasts, save me completely on those drives. Uh, without them, I would go nuts. I would just go nuts in the car for like six hours and it would be really bad. So you can try that out. Today I learned that it's really hard to sew and try and keep the thing that you're sewing in focus at the same time. Oh my goodness. That I didn't really succeed the whole time, but that was a fun project. I hope you guys like this. I know it's a little different from my normal videos, but this was a really super easy beginner intro for me into trying to do some sort of electronics-y kind of projects, uh, which is just something that I've personally been really interested in. If you want to keep seeing uh, me do stuff like this, I think I'm going to buy some more kits and try them out because this is fun and I just personally want to do it. So if you're interested and you want me to film the rest of them, let me know in the comments down below and like this video and that way I guess I'll know. Go forth, do science.